from one of the truly iconic stadiums in the NFL. There's a look at Lambeau Field here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. No team means more to a city than the Packers to Green Bay. And this was the scene a few moments ago as the green and gold made their way out of the historic tunnel. They're ready to go as they get set to match up with Matt Ryan and the Atlanta Falcons. And hi again, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you take a look at our matchup here. You've got to believe that this is a game that might be won in the trenches. Oh, without question. This is big person on big person. Big unit against big unit. Meet on me. Oh, you got it all. Pick your cliche. But we know this. The ground's going to shake. Things are going to rumble. And they're going to have an impact on today's game. Andre Roberts now to return it. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Matt Ryan and the rest of the Falcon offense trotting onto the field. Their season ended in the divisional round this year, the playoffs. And for Matt Ryan, the numbers were still very good, but down significantly, Charles, from his MVP season a year ago. Yeah, yards per attempt, yards per completion, quarterback rating all down, as you said, significantly but still a season that most people would be very happy with. 20 touchdown passes, just 12 interceptions. The problem is he set the bar so high the year before with 38 and seven. So we know what Matt Ryan's capable of, and he'll be looking to get back to that level in 2018. They'll run for the first time with Devontae Freeman. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Wow, that play got shut down in a hurry. As soon as the snap came, you could see defensively they were just closing in. That was going nowhere. Yeah, you count on your offensive line to give you a little bit of space, a little bit of time so you can make a move. There was none there for him. to Freeman. It's Ryan. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he takes this one all the way across midfield into enemy territory down to the 40-yard line. They give him a gain of 37. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield, but when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. Now a play fake here on first down. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? <laughs> and what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. Second down, Freeman. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. He can muster only a yard there, and they'll be left with a third and very short. Here now, the offensive starters for Atlanta. It's real easy to express how much you love about Julio Jones' game because when you watch him perform, you see a little bit of everything. You see speed. You see strength. You see the power with the run after catch. But what you don't see is the work he puts in during the week and you also don't see this. A number one receiver, one of the best in the league, that doesn't act like a diva. On third down, Devontae Freeman. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. Well, that's the way you want to get an opening drive going, right? Because so often it's a tone setter. And I think even better when you're able to pick it up and convert with a running play. Because the last thing you want to do is play what I call rocket football. One, two, three, kick.
Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. The former Indiana Hoosier here, Tevin Coleman. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front and linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Coleman. And he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. Tevin Coleman, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. That's just a solid, methodical drive to start this game. And how about how it culminated? Doing exactly what they wanted to do, getting the ball downfield, and then running it into the end zone. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in, that hurts the defense psychologically a heck of a lot more. So that drives seven plays in length, and Tevin Coleman polished it off with a touchdown run. Here's Bosher to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. Green Bay quarterback Aaron Rodgers bringing out the offense here. And the Packers' whole season in 2017 obviously went south against the Vikings. Week six, that was the collarbone injury to Aaron Rodgers. He came back against the Panthers, thought they might recover, couldn't get into the playoffs. It was a strange season in Green Bay, wasn't it? It certainly was, and now there have been a lot of changes since the season ended in Green Bay because there will be a new offensive coordinator. There will be a new defensive coordinator. Obviously, there are going to be some new players that are coming in. But as long as Aaron Rodgers is piloting this team, they will remain a contender if he's helping. Rodgers now on first down. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. And a wide receiver to watch in this offense, certainly Jordy Nelson. And most defenses watch him run past them. Jordy Nelson can run every route in the route tree and take it to the house. Second down of the offense in search of six yards. Working from the gun, Rodgers. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. And here now, the defensive starters for Atlanta. Atlanta's defense is built on speed. We talk about that all the time. But Don Terry Poe adds an extra element at the nose tackle position. Big enough to overwhelm centers in the run game. Also quick enough and fast enough to get past them and guards in the pass game. That's exactly why Atlanta went to get him. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Here's Rodgers. 
It's caught, Jones. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you'd gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. A gain of six there on first. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Brandon, it's funny, isn't it? Oftentimes when we get with these offensive coordinators, they always talk about the word balance. Well, sometimes you take balance and just throw it out the window. Sometimes balance is using what keeps working, and that's what they were doing, throwing the football. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter about to get underway with the Packers in possession of the football. They've got a third down and five to start things out. Rodgers. It's caught. Nelson. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. The old connection. Rodgers to Nelson getting Green Bay a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at it and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. now on first down looking deep downfield so they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect and you just know when that play call came in their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield that's a lot of fun and they missed an opportunity and on second and ten now to throw again. Rodgers and incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free. Brings up third down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact just as he's trying to haul it in. Here comes the eighth play of the drive and they need a full ten yards on third down. And again, it's Rodgers. This is Cobb with a catch right side. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And he missed it. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good.
I want to give a hat tip real quick, Charles, to J.J. Watt before the possession switches here. Walter Payton, NFL Man of the Year. They totaled up how much he helped raise for hurricane relief, $37 million. Incredible. Hurricane Harvey, which really hit the Houston area in a big way, and his original goal was $200,000. So <laughs> congratulations to J.J. Watt and all the people who participated. And Greg Olson of the Panthers, Benjamin Watson of the Ravens, both tight ends, also nominated and finalists for the most prestigious award as determined by the NFL, the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award. The drive will start with a carry by Devontae Freeman. And he'll get three up to midfield. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. From midfield now, here's Ryan. This one complete to Mohamed Sanu. And they're able to get this one down to the 25. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. The Falcons averaged 34 points a game last year. Tops in the NFL with that powerful offense. And they're already looking for more. Here's they've got it first and 10. They go play action here on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Austin Hooper, the tight end, was the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Well, they're slinging it, and then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That yeah, came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Neutral zone infraction, defense. Yeah, he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped. But I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. So they're operating in the red zone. Second down, Ryan. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. A phrase we said a lot last year, Ryan to Jones for a Falcon first down. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now. The confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football. But you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. They'll run here with Freeman. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to Lambeau following these words. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando where Larry Ridley will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Second down and a little ways to go here. Second and 13. Ready, 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 ready. 
Out of the gun, it's Ryan. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Taylor Gabriel from 13 yards out. And the Falcons will extend their lead. The defense is doing their best, but they're struggling right now. They'll look for some help from their own offense to keep them in the game. Bryant now to tack on the extra point. And it's good to make it 14 0. So the drive there took six plays, and the Falcons score to cap it off. Bosher to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. For the Green Bay Packers, they're coming off a 7-9 season. Their offense makes their way back onto the field. But with that 79 season, Charlie, saw their string of eight straight playoff appearances come to an end. And it was just weird not to have Green Bay in the playoffs, right? Yeah, you kept searching for them, didn't you? You kept looking down the list. When does Green Bay play in the playoffs? Because <laughs> you're so used to it. But with the injury to Aaron Rodgers that knocked him out for so long, the offense really struggled. Finished 26th in the league in total offense. In a lot of ways, remarkable they finished seven and nine. Yeah, and Brett Hundley came in, tried to do his thing. I don't think it was much of an indictment on the play of Hundley as it made me appreciate Aaron Rodgers more. I think we all did, and I do believe that the head coach, Mike McCarthy, was trying to fashion offense and also take care of Brett Hundley in the beginning, and that made things easier for opposing defenses. No gain on the screen there. It's second down. Now Rodgers. In the middle of the field, he's got Nelson. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Rodgers going to try and throw on third down. He's got Adams on the hookup. And he takes this one all the way across midfield into enemy territory down to the 40-yard line. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. and 10. Here's Rodgers. And this one caught along the sideline, but they say already out of bounds. And the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it up field, and that brings up second down. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Back to the air on second down. It's Rodgers. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Nelson. And now prior to this third and one, we're going to get a timeout here. As the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. and We'll see what they come up with here on this next play.
The Packers on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. Open man as Allison complete. Rodgers to Allison. Good for a Green Bay first down. My next teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that. And that's what he did. To throw is Rodgers. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Lance Kendricks from 19 yards away. And the Packers are back with it a score. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camp. Do you remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yeah. of a half, heading into the locker room? This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football, full half to be played. So a challenge coming down from the booth, and that's where these challenges come from, of course, in the final two minutes of the half. Yeah, and now we're going to New York, right? That's command central for the officials. They'll talk. They'll take a look at it, communicate with the referee at the game site, and issue a final decision because they do have the final call now. walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Rodgers again now. He gets it over the middle to Cobb. And prior to this third and two play, we're going to get a timeout call. As the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. And welcome back, the offensive unit. They took the timeout, and now they get set to line up as we resume action. The Packers on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. Here it's third and two. Rodgers to throw once more. And Adams has it complete. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and it sets up a first and goal. Rodgers now to throw. This will be caught by Nelson for a Packer touchdown. Jordy Nelson as the first half is winding down. And the Packers have cut it back within a score. Yeah, yeah, you heard it, right? And exhale. Yeah, the exhale, and I'm taking that from their bench because finally, right before the half, they find a way to get the ball in the end zone and get, get some points on the board. Maybe they can use that to kickstart them for the second half. Yeah, just to get something before going into the lockers. And now in the second half, they can just tighten. That's what they want to do, tighten down everything they're doing and maybe explode at the right time. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. A 10-play drive that time. And the result, a Green Bay score.
Crosby on now to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. He's up to about the 24-yard line. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. So we have reached halftime now with the visiting Falcons out on top as we send you down to our EA Sports Studios in Orlando where we find our man Larry Ridley with our halftime report. Thanks, Brandon. I'm Larry Ridley, and welcome to our EA Halftime Report. The Packers haven't played their best football and trail because of it. The Falcons will want to come out after the half and really put the pressure on from the start. All right, let's roll the highlights. Falcons with their opening drive. Completion will be made here to a wide open man, and he'll end up at the 40 yards high before being tackled. Sticking with the same drive on the carry, it's the dangerous Kevin Coleman. And he caps off the seventh play drive with the score about halfway through the second quarter. Ryan's on target here, and it leads to a touchdown as they move out in front, 14-0. Packers now lead in the second quarter. Adams got the catch here, and he'll end up at the 40-yard line before being tackled. Still late stages of the second. Kendrick's able to get open here, and he kept off the long drive with a touchdown. Trailing now by just a touchdown. Still late in the first half. Rodgers' pass will go into the end zone, and this play will go for a six. Packers down by a touchdown. So that'll do it from here in Orlando. Let's get you back up to Green Bay as we rejoin Brandon and Charles at Lambeau Field. Here's Bosher to kick it away. Set to return. This is Jeff Janis. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Packers offense now. They get ready to head back onto the field. They're close. Close game. But they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. On first down, Rodgers toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. So second and 10 here. Tight 
Now Rodgers throwing again. Over the middle complete. It's Adams. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. The Packers on third down. They've been excellent. Six for seven. This is third and four. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Nelson. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Show some confidence, supreme confidence. Big-time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. So the offense has it first and 10. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. throwing on second down and he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45 four yards on the completion and it sets up a third down the Packers on third down they've been outstanding seven first downs and eight tries this time they face a third and two They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up a fourth down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. On now is the Packers punter. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. Here comes the Falcons offense. It's their first possession of the second half now. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we got the lead. Yeah. We've got, de we got, the, got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter. No time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. down carry and it's been like this all night long nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line they'll wind up losing three yards here and it'll bring up a second and 13. The 
From the gun, it's Ryan. And this is Gabriel on the catch. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Great patience in the pocket. Of course, it's easy to be patient when the protection's good, and it was. Yeah, you've got to pat those guys on the helmet and say thanks because they gave him plenty of time to stay back there, survey the field, go through the reads that he wanted to, and deliver the ball accurately. That was really well executed. And now a first down following that long game. From the shotgun, Ryan. The left side completion to Jones. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. comes to the line now first and ten one quarter remains here on a Sunday night we'll return with more after this break you're watching the NFL on EA Sports back now at Lambeau it's the Falcons. They've got the football. They've got the lead as we get set to start the fourth. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Here's Ryan. Caught on the right side by Jones. And they do get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A good pick up there, a 22. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll look to run with Freeman. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. It's second and goal. They run. Devontae Freeman. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Here we go. Third and one. Gut check time on both sides. They'll try and run. Freeman. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop it behind the line. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. 
Now this feels like old school football because this has turned into a good old fashioned goal line stand. So on offense, what do you do now? Do you decide to run it or throw it if you go for it on fourth down? So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to perhaps salt this one away. And the 42-year-old veteran's kick is up and good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to So a big one there as that gives them a little cushion. And you know, here in the fourth quarter, the fact that they were able to bleed some time off the clock and put points on the board, even if it's only three, that could turn out to be the drive that ultimately wins them the game. Here's Bosher to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. And now the Packers get set to go. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's, He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? <laughs> so you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Oh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, <laughs> hey, listen, if something got, there got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Rodgers now on first down. And Nelson's got it here right side. <laughs> A big hit. Knocked down sideways at the 47-yard line. That was good for 16, and the drive will continue. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you can just put the ball on him and then let him run. Right, get some space. for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. job to break the one tackle but not much daylight after that as he's brought down five yards on the pickup and it'll be a second down back to throw Rodgers he'll leave it for Montgomery complete and oh he's going to be brought down by the face mask here come the flags this is going to get him a first down personal foul face mask defense Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Montgomery fighting through and able to push his way forward here for a good little game. 
It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. The clock still runs. We're at 90 seconds now. Here's Rodgers to throw. That's complete to his tight end. This is Lance Kendricks. 13 yards down to the 13. First down now, but that clock runs. To throw is Rodgers. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Counting down toward a minute to go in this football game. Rodgers to throw. And too much on that one. It's out of the back of the end zone, incomplete. Randall Cobb, the intended receiver. And that takes us from second to third down. Boy, you will not see a quarterback of his caliber miss on one like that very often. I mean, there it is, wide open, got the shot, and he misfires. We talk about, boy, he'll want that one back all the time. He definitely wants that one back. Now Rodgers. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Now Crosby for the point after. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. So a little under 50 seconds to go. Plenty of time if they can get this onside kick. Oh, I think the Packers got it. Yep, Green Bay football. So they needed the onside kick. They got it. Now they need a field goal. And that's the beauty of this. They don't have to get six. A field goal ties the ball game for them. Nicely executed play. They want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up. Could come back at you a long way. Extra point try now for Crosby. It's up and good to make it 21-17. get the connection on the long touchdown pass and that's one of the easiest drive summaries you'll ever see one play touchdown
Crosby on now to kick it away. Let's field it a few yards into the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Matt Ryan and the offense heading back onto the field. I would imagine you want to win every game big, but if you're a quarterback in the NFL, this is the spot that you love. You've been dreaming of it since you were a kid, playing in the backyard or the front yard, wherever, where you went through those imaginary situations. Now it's real, though. What practice have you put in since the OTAs, the mini camps, preseason camp, sequence of plays, get the ball to the outside, get it out of bounds, save your timeouts, move the ball downfield to get your team in a position to win the game. And a field goal, of course, no good. They need a score. He'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Jones. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Face mask. Defense. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march up another 15 against your squad. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Working the sideline there. Good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. Yeah, you have to like the play calling because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. seconds now to go. He was trying to hit Taylor Gabriel that time. That'll bring up second down. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. Ryan. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. They'll wind up getting seven on the completion, but they'll still be faced now with a third and goal situation. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it.
From the three-yard line again, they'll try and punch it in here on third and goal. Ryan to throw. And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. So for those of little faith, guess what? It got done. They now have the lead with that touchdown this late in the contest. I wonder if that was a play they were holding or a play that they just knew would work from past experience. Well, I just saw it in their eyes on the sideline before starting that last drive, and they did. You're right. They got it done. Looks like they're going to be the winner. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. The drive summary that time, five plays. And the end result, an Atlanta touchdown. Sure to kick it away. This one taken just inside the 10. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30 yard line. Side, they're playing press coverage. One final try now for Rodgers. Oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Demonte Kazin. And that's how this one ends in dramatic fashion in overtime with the interception. Well, we were on hand for a fun and entertaining game coming down really to that last play. Great job defensively to get the pick and seal it. And we know that every play during a game matters. You're never sure which one's going to be one of the key ones. But at the end of the game, when you analyze it, three, four, or five plays are going to be the ones you focus on. And that last play was one of them. The last shot had to take it. And they came up with the interception and sealed their victory. That's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. From Lambeau.